Hello, builders, parents, and collectors. On this episode of the Creation Evaluation Station, we'll be evaluating this and this. Actually, it's the same thing. <laughs> um, it's another out-of-box um, review. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just start calling them that. Um, they're going to be. Uh, it's going to be the last one for quite some time. Um, but yes, it's uh, from the Batman movie. It is. Killer Crocs Tail Gator. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the pun. I love the bat, the Batman, the Lego Batman movie. Not that those are wrong with some of the Batman movies, but I like, really like the Lego Batman movie. I like the Lego movie in general, but we'll talk about that another day. But yes, Lego Batman movie was really good, and uh, I, I loved all the sets from it. We've already looked at the Ultimate Batmobile. We're looking at this, and I have some others that I have not put together. We will be getting to them shortly um before i get into it any further let new uh viewers know that i do in-depth reviews of models and construction kits both new and old older ones <laughs> and mostly lego but other products as well so and i also do reviews and discussions of other creative works such as movies video games and animation so, because they are in-depth reviews, they can be on the longer side. This should be a little bit shorter since it's an out-of-box. Um, we won't be looking at the parts exactly. Uh, we will be taking a peek at the back of the book with the parts list, but that's it. And uh, make sure you're checking out the make sure you're checking out the timestamps down below here or in the description um, to jump around to your favorite part or use them as bookmarks to come back to at a later date when you have more time. Take a closer look at that. Got quite a few characters in it, including Batman. He's over here along the side. Although he's not the main focus of the set. Um, funnily enough. Uh, but to get down to its details, it's set number 70907. A palindrome number. I don't know what those are called. Numa drones? Anyways. It's for ages 8 through 14. This was before the the plus. <laughs> and had 460 pieces. It originally retailed for $69.99 and unfortunately is no longer available um, for retail. It was released January 2017. Um, and this was part of the first wave of them. I think that these came out before the movie. And the second wave came out after the movie when certain things had been revealed. Although they had one really cool set that was in the pre-wave, I believe. What did they call it? The bat crawler? Something like that. And it looked like a real bat that was crawling along, the, uh, uh, walking on the ground. I don't remember what it was called. But yeah, that was that was a really cool set that was part of the first wave. And then the second one, we got the ultimate Batmobile and the bat jet now there's characters and i'm not familiar but there's a lot of different dc characters and uh they were part of this set uh we'll be taking a close look at them and then the big guy himself the um, killer croc and uh yeah so let's go uh check it out set's already been assembled so we are just gonna look at the parts list in the back of the book Fortunately, this is what we gotta do. I'm not gonna tear the whole set apart and then rebuild it. That'd be way too time consuming. But, yeah. Good amount of parts here. Some interesting stuff and some regular stuff. Got the croc body there. It's a piece. And that's that. The sticker sheet was inside the book, and I forgot to pull it out when we were looking at some of the other stuff. But here is the sticker sheet. I haven't used it. There, Most of the stickers don't really need it. There's a couple signs here and here that are kind of just blank tiles on the set. Could use that. And then there's the, the uh, bumper with the license plate. Some of the other ones are cool. Give it more detail, but aren't really necessary. I think the truck looks fine without them. Here we have our cast of characters for this set. Well, most of them. 
We still have Killer Croc left to go, but we're saving him for last. Um, since he's such a big guy. Let's look at these close. We are going to strip them down of their gear later. But I just want to comment on their accessories, which is mostly Batman here. And uh, he's got that utility belt, which I believe was new for the Batman movie. And I don't think they did that in any of the previous Batman sets that had come out. And there were ones before that. Also, let's take a quick look at his cape. It's made out of a nice, soft, flowy material. Works really nice. It's got the cutout on the bottom rather than just the straight, straight bottom, which is nice, classy, classy looking uh, appearance with that. And uh, as far as the other characters, um, these we have Zebra Man and Tarantula. Of course, I think she, her name's actually pronounced differently, but it's spelled the same as a Tarantula. We're gonna strip them down, take a closer look with their uh, gear off, not that they have a lot, before we look go on to the Killer Croc. Here we have all our characters uh, stripped down of their gear so we can see better look at their prints. We got Batman's mask off here, and here he is with his kind of gritty face, and you can see his abs there printed on in the bat symbol, which, eh, yeah, I could use maybe another coat of paint on there. It's, it's yellow, but it could be a little bit brighter maybe although it I think it's maybe supposed to be kind of a pale yellow mm, I don't know if the black is bleeding through that much um, then we have the zebra guy here and he looks pretty cool he's uh, got the belt on his his britches there but all them stripes looks really nice on the legs and they did the side of the legs here as well his toes and the side of his arms as well so he looks really spectacular um, I'm surprised there's printing on the side of his legs. We don't see that that often. Now we just need torso sides. Um, well then, we have Tarantula here. Um, she's pretty cool looking, you know. She's got the kind of cut in waist there to give her her womanly curves. Just changing her silhouette a little bit, which works. Nice mask. Nice smirk there too. She's also got arm printing just on her lower arms. I don't know if she's got like web shooters like Spider-Man does or something but uh, yeah it's nice to have more arm printing I don't know too much about this character or Zebra Man either for that matter except he looks like a zebra <laughs> um, and once again on the back she's got a grittier face there and the, the print there continues on the back that nice uh, silhouette not quite as fanciful as the front though and Zebra Man, he continues his belt back there, and the nice stripes. He only has one face because of the mohawk he wears, but uh, he's got that nice printing on the back of his head for the pattern, zebra pattern there as well. And then Batman, he's, you know, Batman. He's got a different face there, angry face, and continuing with his muscle pattern on his bodysuit. Uh, so that's him. We're going to go move on, or them, that's them. We're going to move on to our main attraction here, the main character for this set. Here we have the namesake of the set, the Killer Croc. And you gotta love this figure. Um, they used a classic crocodile head for him, which I think is kind of cool. Click hinge joints for the arms. I don't know that they need click hinges. They could have just done regular hinges. He's also got a neck back hinge so he can get him to look up and down, which that's that's a nice touch. Uh, much more movement out of him, um, which makes him a little bit less stiff figure since the legs don't move, the torso doesn't move, the tail doesn't move. Nice tail there though, but it doesn't move. It's stuck there. Um, he also has wrist rotation, and the two middle fingers move out, but I also wouldn't move them out any further than there, because they have a tendency to just pop off their, their hinge. Um, so, you want them to say perpendicular to the hand here, like that. I wouldn't go any further back this way. <laughs> And you also see he's got a little 
stud on his wrist where we then add some chains for when he broke out of his captivity, his jail, or however he was being held at the time. That's it for the figures. Let's get down to the main review. Here we have everything together. We've already looked at the characters, so we're going to be taking these guys and sweeping them away. The other two are leaving here a moment because they see how they interact with the vehicles. We're going to start here with the little bat boat. It's more of a jet ski type thing. He's standing up in it. As you can see here, he was standing in there, and there's two studs in there for two for him to connect to. Um, he's got a batarang here on the back that's being held. And he's got these little bat wings, although I don't think they're supposed to make it fly, just to look cool. And this is interesting for the back here, is uh, it is a uh, hinge piece, but uh, they're just using it as a like engine type um, thing, probably a, a jet engine. Yeah, duh. that's why it's a jet ski. Um, <laughs> but uh, we also have shooters on both sides that come out here. It, it's a small little build, but I think it looks pretty cool and works well for what it is. And uh, since it's kind of a side build for Batman to... Meanwhile, you've got the main villain's vehicle there. you still got the Batman in it. And uh, it'd be cool if these, like, folded up, but it's such a small thing. It, it's no wonder that it doesn't. Um... Now, it doesn't sit flat, but that's because it's designed with these two smooth, round pieces here on the bottom. So that you can move it real easy across the ground. But it doesn't sit flat, so that's why it's sitting here kind of at an angle. It'll flop over if you try to get it just right. Gotta say, this looks pretty cool, but it doesn't do much. Uh, let's see. First, we have the roof that can be taken off so you can put a character in there but only on the one side because the wheel which is back there um, goes all the way through there and I'm not sure why they had to do that because it isn't like this thing actually has steering they could have just put the steering wheel here and had plenty of room for characters there but yeah you can put one of the other characters inside there and by lifting up the lid like that and it's it's only connected by a couple of the studs here in the front and it just rests on the back so it pops off and on pretty easy and uh, overall works pretty well doors don't actually open but that's okay we can get access through the roof and we got some nice lights here um, or not like side mirrors <laughs> lights are here on the front we got spotlight we got uh, a skull here on the front nice motor block um, this does not well it doesn't open up easy I mean you can pop it open but you're not gonna see much inside as you see there got some plants like he's been driving through the swamp which is kind of the idea here um, the there is a bouncy suspension but it's not really super nice it's got some effect to it there's simply done by some rubber bands underneath here you can see and that's the underside not really a lot to see there and do have here along the side some baskets this one and they have lids off so you can take them off it's got some frogs it's got a frog basket there i guess i don't know if he's saving them later to eat or something uh but got two green frogs comes with and these clip right onto the side uh, with some studs on side pieces and there's another one on the other side here this it's got some dynamite in it I'm ready to blow things up if you need to got some bones some other tools here got the appearance of suspension back there uh, but yeah, this is all it really does, and yeah, it's okay. I've seen uh, some better stuff on some other vehicles, but... And it's so heavy, it just squats right down. 
presses right that 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 spring rubber band right down to the ground. Um, I mean, I suppose you get on a bumpy road. Let's see, use my hand here. You get yeah, some effect to it. Now to the back of this thing where the gator is. He apparently dry. He's a backseat driver. <laughs> and uh, we'll pull him out here. You can get his hand to cover over the stick shift here. The steering wheel is, is right there and you really can't hold on to it. But you can hold on to the stick shift. Which is kind of cool. And he's got, you know, a cage here. His feet go right here where these brown spots are. So you know exactly where to put them. Um, now there's plenty of room when he's not back there to put stuff. But, uh... And considering that he's large and that's his driving seat, there are uh, not a lot of room back there. But the stick is on, on, a, on a ball joint, so you can move it around as necessary. And I love that it's got an eight ball right there. You can see printed on it. That's a print, thankfully. There's some nice prints here. There's some, oops, like wooden pieces that are printed these are nice. There are stickers, um, as I showed earlier. Um, they usually are for the signs, like this is a sign. And then there's another one here, this white one. Uh, and I believe there's a license plate for the back. And another sticker that goes on the front here with the license plate on as well. Um, got some nice tail lights back here with the red grills. They look cool. Work well. Not quite sure what these are, just bare bumper, I guess, because the bumper is actually broken off. Makes kind of sense. Overall, this uh, reminds me of like the Rat Fink character and it's his vehicle, especially that eight ball there. Um, kind of, it's kind of a cool design, and it is fun. Rolls really well as well. So let's head to the desk and give this a final evaluation let's give you my final thoughts on this and my final evaluation um overall i have mixed feelings about this set i think it's really cool looking but it's lacking in things as well and uh kind of explain that as i go through the final evaluation so let's go ahead and do that as far as appearance, I think this looks cool. It's one reason why I bought the set. I thought the big figure was cool, and yes, I kind of got it for the figures, but I think the overall concept looked cool. It's kind of a, a Rat Fink type inspired vehicle, um, and along with the Killer Croc here. And I also like how they reused the crocodile head. It looked really cool. It's big old truck. You could see this going through the mud and, and the swamps, which is exactly what you would expect an alligator to be doing. Um, and then Batman's got his little jet ski, which kind of works for water area. Not quite muddy stuff, but, you know, it, it make, makes some sense anyways. Um, so overall, I thought it looked cool. And all the figures look great, including these other characters I don't really know. Um, I didn't get them for those characters, but I do like them, and it's cool that I have them now. Um, the Batman figure, he's Batman. We're going to see him a lot, and I've already probably have, no, I don't know, umpteen versions of him. The figures look good. The vehicle looks good. I gave appearance a 10. Easily, hands down, it's one of the reasons why I, want, I wanted to get this set. And, uh, yeah, appearance looks great. Now, on to function. Vehicle rolls good. The suspension thing's kind of eh, okay. Other than that, it doesn't do much. And, yeah, it doesn't do much. It's a vehicle. You can put characters in it, which is good, but it doesn't have any other functions. Um, I would have liked to maybe seen some kind of steering in the front, especially when you built this with this large steering wheel going all the way through, although you can't reach the steering wheel with killer croc here in the way. So um, I was hoping for something more like that. It's a big enough vehicle. I think they could have figured out something for the front wheel um, steering. And the bat 
little bat thing here. He's got shooters off the front of it. That's cool, and they work fine. Uh, but other than that, it, this doesn't even have any real firing mechanism or anything on it. So it's kind of kind of boring. Uh, so I ended up giving it a nine for function. Not that there's anything that works badly. There's just not much things that actually work. Now, as far as fun goes. I'll admit, this is fun to drive around, but this has got really big imbalance of the characters, um, good guys versus bad guys. Now, yes, I know, this is Batman, he can handle it, he'll take them all out, I'm sure, uh, but still, another good guy figure would have been good, or at least one less bad guy figure. I, I think they really pumped these full of bad guy figures because there were so many different bad guys that were in the movie and they wanted to get them all in. But yeah, it kind of leaves that unbalanced. And I mean, you can play with these with each other, but it's it's a bit weird and set a bit off set. And, and this, like I said, doesn't do anything. It just rolls. Now there is some space to put the figures. I wish there was also more room on here to put figures. Um, would have been a little bit better. You can put one guy in here, and the other guy you can have hang off somewhere. Um, there's, you know, a bar, bars back here on the, the bed of the truck, and, uh, some studs sticking out here on the side. You could have them stand, like, on them, and, uh, but it feels like it could, it either needs to do something or have more room for for characters on it. This guy takes up a lot of space, or there'd be a lot of room in the back. They could have just <laughs> removed the steering wheel and had him sitting up front, but yeah, I ended up giving Fun a 9. It's not terrible. I think just things could have been better. And that ends up going for the same with Technique. This is a very basic build. Um, if they had designed something for the steering, I would have been be more impressed with the set, and I'm sure they would have had some interesting techniques there as well. Other than that, it's pretty basic. I mean, there's some things they did for the shaping. The bad jet ski here um, is better designed or has more interesting build elements than the truck itself. The truck is pretty basic. So uh, I, I ended up giving that a 9 as well. And that brings our final evaluation. Um, when you add all that up, you get a 37. You divide by 4, get a 9.25. We're going to round that up to a 9.5 since we go to the nearest half. Now, that's the final evaluation. Um, I'm going to talk about price and but we're not really going to count because these are not going to score the price although I, I i might as well um i believe i got this down marked down so i didn't play full price for it which i'm glad i didn't because the full price was 69.99 and there's only 460 pieces here why is it so expensive well I've already done the Ultimate Batmobile, and that one was priced good. I don't think it has to do with licensing. It's primarily because of the Gator Hero. The Big Fig. It's a lot of plastic. This takes up a lot of that. Now, it still feels way off. Like, you can say 10 bucks for the Big Fig, and we take that off, and you're still going to get, you know, $60. I would have given this set a fail, and it's not a super great set. There's some great figures in here, gotta admit it. You might be able to get them off Bricklink for a lot cheaper. Overall, I don't know, mixed feelings about the set and definitely didn't like the price. The set's okay by itself, not considering the price. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, and uh, please like if you enjoyed the video. Um, whether you like the set or not, you can like the video, uh, the review, and uh, if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, also, follow me on Facebook or Twitter because I get notifications out faster on there. If you want the videos, be notified as soon as they come out. Um, if not, then just 
wait for YouTube to finally say something. I also have a Patreon down there if you can check that out too if you want. Uh, not, not a lot there. I need to do work on it. But uh, that's it for me here at the Creation Valuation Station. Reminding you that creativity is key.